find John before the police do. <clears throat> Excuse me. We? This is a list of all the different cars and boats that my family owns that are in false names, and I, I know Johnny's got to be using at least one of them. Okay, the search is not as, as simple as Vixenella imagines. Why? What's the problem? Spinelli's too nice to say it, but I'm not. What gives you the right to barge in here and order him around? I suggest you help me encourage Spinelli to find my brother, or you're going to be very sorry you didn't. So, the police seem to think that you helped break Johnny's car out of here, but that really doesn't make any sense to me. I can't tell you anything. The police found, uh, found the mayor's car in the factory district, but there's no sign of Johnny or Lulu. I'm here as a concerned brother. Okay? You helped Emily when, when Xander took her. You went after them, and, and, and you helped your little sister. I'm asking you to help mine. I mean, you, you would have done anything for Emily, right? Okay. So for Emily's sake, if, if you know anything about what happened, please just tell me. There is no need for dark promises of any kind. We're all very concerned about John. What I'm trying to tell you is he only takes orders from Jason, not the Zakaris. Jason's in lockup. Then I guess he's not available to tell Spinelli to start any computer searches for Johnny or Lulu or anyone else. Does she speak for you? Nick Spinella must know that the Jackal holds her in the highest esteem and empathizes with her fear and concern in regards to her vanished sibling. I, as we all are concerned about the okay, well-being... Wait a minute. What if, what if she asked you to help me? Would you help me? Never gonna happen. Really? Really, even if I reminded you of that conversation we had at the Crimson office? You remember the one, Maxie, where we found out what kind of person you really are? Don't even think about blackmailing me. Blackmail? What is Maxie used to done? Look at it this way, Mayor. Having your car stolen from an escaping murder suspect could get sympathy from the Commissioner, voters. Commissioner, I look like an idiot, and so do you. How the hell did Jones the car get that gun in here? And why haven't your people been able to find him? Any luck? Not so far. But the mayor is not going to like Nicholas Cassid on questioning a suspect. Listen, I hate playing the simile card, but that's all we have. Just, I want you to give Nicholas a few more minutes. But Jason, I'm not here on behalf of the police. All I care about is whatever, whatever you tell me right now, I swear, I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't help you. All right, well, can you at least tell me what about the gun? What do you know about the gun? How, do you know how he may have gotten it? No. He didn't get it from you. No, he didn't. No, he didn't get the gun from me. Okay, well, you, you came in here to speak with Johnny, right? Is that right? Yes, I came in here to speak with Johnny. Lulu was already in here with him. Do you honestly believe that she would smuggle a gun in here? Yeah, I do. Where else is she gonna get a gun from? I, don't know. I mean, I hear that Lulu has been near hysterics because she's so upset about Johnny being arrested. Well, she did bring in here. He put her up to it and then turned on. Well, her. he did drag her out of here at gunpoint. But the problem is, I don't think Lulu's a hostage. That makes her an accomplice. And that puts her in even more danger. Right. So you saw everything. You saw Johnny drag Lulu out of here? He's... I saw it all. Lulu was terrified. That's why I, I don't think it was planned. Well, if it wasn't, that, that means that they don't have an escape route, right? They're going to get caught eventually. Yeah, possibly. Do you think the police have enough on Lulu to charge her as an account? I don't know what the, the cops have. But the longer Lulu's out there, the more danger she's in. <laughs> Do you think he would ever hurt her? No. I don't, but these idiots have orders to use deadly force. Right. If Lulu's in the wrong place, at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. I appreciate your help. Thanks. What do you say? Not much. You asked him about the gun. Yes, I did. What's going on over here? Why was Nicholas Cassidyne allowed to question a suspect? Why did you allow Johnny Zakar to take off in your car with my sister in it? Excuse me? Mayor. Come here. You were in there for quite a while. Jason must have said something. Well, Lucky, am I talking to my brother right now or to a cop? You know I don't give a damn about my badge when it comes to Lou. Okay, Jason didn't arrange for the gun. He thinks Lulu's in on it. Lulu was terrified. <laughs> I saw her face. It was real. Okay. I gotta take this. Hey, I heard about your sister. How can I help? Look, I gotta admit, I was astonished to find 
out that you of all people helped Johnny and Lulu escape. I mean, it does occur to me that you're trying to broker a truce between uh, yourself and my employer. <laughs> After all, you did try to burn Anthony's house to the ground. So if you were afraid of retaliation, the smart move, Jason. But you botched the whole thing. Okay, now Johnny is in more danger than ever, and so is Lulu. Should I call for a guard? I'm just trying to help, Jason. You want to help? Get out. Claudia is right. I'm an awful person. I think only of myself, and I'll do whatever it takes to get what I want. But you've always known that about me. Yes, I would have been happy to seduce Johnny and get the money. I would have enjoyed hurting Lulu's feelings, but I've also helped her when she's been in some major trouble. To get points with John. Sometimes I have an agenda, that's just how I think, but... Spinelli, you're my best friend, and I've done my best to be a good friend to you as well, and I'm just... I'm asking you, don't trust Claudia, okay? She's not on your side. The check appreciates your honesty. Your attempt to turn the jackal against Maximista has failed, but the jackal forgives Vixenella for her harsh attempt at leverage. She realizes that she's just motivated by her deep concern for her missing sibling. Isn't there some way that you can help me? I helped you when you were sick. I helped Jason, too. If Stone Cold authorizes your request, I would be more than happy to provide my expert assistance. I'll be back. You're really disappointed in me, right? I'm okay. I can sit here as long as you can. I got nothing else to do. I'm inclined to think Lulu brought John that gun. You know, hysterical girl, not thinking clearly, and her brother's a cop, so nobody bothered to search her. Now, the only person who could have arranged for that gun is you. <laughs> Maybe you were trying to get on my good side, you know, help my son escape to make amends for burning my house to the ground. I don't know what you're talking about. Listen. If John dies, I'll have nothing to lose. I'll kill you first, and then I will bring a reign of chaos and terror on this town, the likes of which no one has ever seen. So I suggest you put your people to work, Mr. Morgan, and make damn sure my son comes home safe. I want Spinelli to help me find my brother, but he won't touch his keyboard without your permission, so I'm asking you, Jason, help me find John. You don't need Spinelli. You know that Johnny is going to contact you soon. When he does, you just let me know. I may be able to work something out. Okay, I, I'll tell you when he calls. I'll tell you if you promise me, promise me that you'll help him. <laughs>